why I'm at two percent of four. Me, yeah. I'm gonna go to the mega beef all place and go back to the meat dimension and serve our face with more, more beef and food. Cause it's raining. Um. Last time we hang out with social links and stuff, and it's starting to rain pretty heavily as we're starting to get into the camp mood. You know, Kanji eventually wants us to go out and uh, go to the TV world at some point. And that may not be a bad idea to try to go and get various requests done. But right now, I'm just gonna munch on some beef. Try to get my uh, social stats up. Understand knowledge, diligence. I am now thorough! Any more under. Any more expression? Hang out with uh, Dojima and Nanako. Or special for Nanako, or just hang for Dojima. If you want, you can change the channel. Nanako looks bored. Let's see here. What can I do? Just wait until you hear this. I finally got a motorcycle. My very own. Guess I have been dreaming about. I've been on Cloud 9 all morning. So why don't we take our motorcycles for a spin at Okinawa School? You know, once you promised you would. That goes some personal planner. Hey, you remembered. That's my partner. Now it's time to put our let's use our motorcycles to hill and see the girls playing in action. I want to make sure I have a girlfriend to spend the summer just with this year. Don't you? I said there as soon as the class is let out. School camp will be taking place this weekend. Remember, this isn't like ordinary camping. It's going to be a place of education to win up the lazy ass minds you get from screwing around all the time. I'll show you what morals are all about. And I'll send uh, home anyone who brings down the morale. You remember that. What? You don't know the difference between morals and morale? Morals are about virtue. Morale is... Tell me, Hormaro. You seem to be lacking in morals. Damn it, Kimura. I thought... <coughs> I thought... I thought I knew, but now I'm dying myself. Morale? Uh, is the cheerfulness or termination of a, in a group. Oh, that was unexpected. Did you tell me the answer, Personet? Anyways, yes. Morale refers to enthusiasm of a group or individual within a group. Remember uh, when those women were killed? It's shit like that that brings people's morale and their morals. And maybe they'll... In, that all happen to you if you keep living lives of low mor morals, uh, morals, uh, more mortals and more morale. 
Oh, another thing to say. Thanks, Kurt. I didn't even want the thing what you said if I missed that. Gosh. That was a breeze. It's no sweat keeping up with a couple of guys still getting used to their scooters. Psh, if I hadn't run out of gas back there, we'd have left you in the dust. I shouldn't have cheaped out on gas just so I could have more money to fool around with. Yeah, no, you definitely you definitely shouldn't cheap out of gas. You know, I notice every time I come here, there's a lot of people around. Yeah, if we hang out around here, I bet someone will come talk to us. Actually, uh, mind if I head off for a bit? <laughs> Since I came all the way to Okinawa, uh, there, there's this craft shop? It, it, it's nothing. I'm just, just saying I gotta go buy some stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna go do my own thing for a bit, so you guys get started without me. Okay. Okay. Then, why'd he come with us? Don't worry about it. You're right. Okay, let's get this plan underway. Three hours just passed and we just stand here. Sorry to make you guys wait. I couldn't decide which one to get. No luck, huh? This is so weird. I think someone's watching us from somewhere, though. That seems... unlikely. Uh, hold on. I'm sure if we hang around a little longer... Dude, the sun's gonna set. Well, maybe there's some holes in your plan after all. My fault, I wonder. Nah, you're fine. Your motorcycle looks cool, and you don't look so bad yourself. Oh, thank God. You said every guy needs a motorcycle, but that thing's a scooter. Does it, like, not matter what kind of motorcycle it is as long as you got one? Well, it's true that the ones I saw in the magazine were all big motorcycles. But that's just how it goes. There's always a gap between a man's dream and cold, hard reality. It's not the truth. I can't afford an expensive one. A scooter's the best I can do. Senpai, can you give me ten minutes? I can't keep quiet after getting shut out like this. I'll avenge you guys. This isn't uh, a fight, you know. Uh, what are you gonna do to avenge us? Hit on some girls? Hell yeah! How else would I fix this? That's bold coming from you. Come on, we had motorbikes and we failed. There's no way you could do better, right? Three minutes is all I need. What are you saying? <laughs> Even instant ramen takes five minutes to make. <laughs> now that's my senpai. Let's make this a contest. I'll show you clowns how a real man gets it done. Driving. Calm down. This is turning into something we've all got a stake in. I mean, do you realize what you're saying? This means we're the ones that have to approach the girls. That just sounds lame. And I doubt it'll go well for us. You chicken? That's not what I mean. All we gotta do is ask them to be our friend. And then make them say yes. Have them to it. Well, I guess there's nothing to lose. That's the spirit, senpai. If I lose, I'll run around the block in nothing but my underwear and those gag glasses Yukiko-senpai had. Um... Only girls count for this, all right? You're still stuck on that? Damn it! Hell if I'm gonna lose this! And off he goes. A pickup contest. Oh, boy. Well. Hello. Phew. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Can I help you with something? You want to talk? Um, uh, I'm uh, not used to this. Sorry, I'm really nervous. Um, I can't really explain it. Alright. Sure, yeah. This is at times like these that one must be at one's commas. I must regain my balance my heart, or evil will rush in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Phew, I'm alright now. My soul has been saved through God's intervention. Are you aware of this? At this moment, our world is filled with demons and despair. That despair will evade people's souls, and eventually the world will become hard and cruel. Illness, axes, bad luck, all the evil in this world stem from despair. I'm sure your soul's cry for hope are brought you to, brought you to me. However, you must not fear. There's still a path to salvation. As you pray to our God, your soul will be purified and you're able to lead a happy, fulfilled life. It's, the time is now. Find happy, find your happy place and gain inner joy. Uh, sure. Then chat with me. Let's do it as a heart. Let our hearts be as one. Ready? Here we go. Let's go to our happy place. Let's go to our happy place. We chatted with the one. However, it wasn't long before you came to your senses. You failed to get her sent. That's all I remember. Nothing today again. Well, can I help you? You see me on. Who are you? What do you do? I'm a go getting college student. Well, you meet the age requirements, the heights, and looks requirements. I guess the only thing left is your potential to become great someday. Are you the oldest child? Talking to this? What's your family structure like? Do you live with your parents? Is your parents' house a rental, or do they own? Is it a house or apartment? Oh, sorry. I guess like none of these things. Not to give you a third degree, give you the third degree here. Let me introduce myself. I am a homemaking assistant by trade, and my hobbies are gardening and traveling. I am in a groovy hip with a twenty-three-year-old. Something really strange about what she just said. Is she really twenty-three years old? I've really been lonely lately. My bed feels so empty. I'm playing with the wrong guy, sir, but I can't live my whole life without uh, life as a tease. So I thought I would settle down. I'm your man. Wow, that is so sexy. And our anniversaries usually take me out to eat. French or Italian would be nice. And we can split the housework and childcare. Oh, do you like kids? I mean, I like when you get married. Actually, I have. Actually, actually, I have half of my marriage license are all filled out or ready to go. I'm getting whenever you are. Actually, do you want to sign it now? Yeah, no. Good. Don't pass this me, you stupid little boy. If you're 19, you're under the limit. Go talk to someone else. Oof. Uh... Hmm? What does a cute boy like you want with me? Anyone? Oh, uh, I'm waiting for someone. <laughs> Are you making a pass at me? Of, I'm kind of like younger boys. They're innocent and adorable. Makes me want to educate them about some things. Hmm, how do you feel about older women? It just means nothing. <laughs> I see you young full of energy. I wouldn't mind spending some time with you. Hey, do you really want to hang out? 
Not today, I mean, but if not, and not if you don't want to. But if you want, I can teach you a lot about how grown up how grown ups play. Uh, do you want to play with me? Yes, please. <laughs> You're adorable. I'm starting to like you. But I have something to do right now, so this isn't the best day. Maybe next time. Alright, here you go. Gifts for you. Call me, won't you? I'll be waiting. Get more time inspected. You need to meet more. Hmm. Well, I got one. How'd it go? Not as well as I hoped. I thought so. Oh, but I did get a phone number from some chick who said to give her a call. Does that count? A girl hit on you? What did she say? Something like it only costing so much for an hour. I don't know. What was she talking about? How dense are you? There's no way that counts. What about you? Did you get anything? Of course. Way to go, partner. Was it herself? What kind of girl was it? Come on, please. Pretty please, please. How many times are you going to beg? So you're going to call her, right? Right? Okay, okay. She picked up. Oh, senpai's the man. Uh, hello? You're not familiar man's voice on the other line. Hello? Okay. I can hear him from here. Uh, just a friendly hello. Jeez. Okay. Is that dude for real? Well, <laughs> that's a risk you take. All right, I'm up next. Last chance. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. She was way into the foreplay and stuff. I should should have known better, huh? She did say she was waiting for someone. I yeah. Did you mm. pulled it off, Yosuke Senpai. <laughs> of course I did. One phone number right here. Amazing. Man, it wasn't easy too. I just had to push myself a bit and go for a sexy older one. Time to give her a call. I hope you guys are ready for this. Hello. Yosuke Kun. Yep, the guy who asked you out on a motorcycle, huh? You know my name? Did I tell you? Of course I know your name. <laughs> we go to the same school. We do? Oh, that's a mate. That voice. This is Hanako Otani. Who did you think I was? Uh, how did you get my number? Oh, God. I'm in such deep shit. D did I call the wrong number? One more. Yeah, I know. The hell was that? It sounded like a fiend from the pits of the earth. Ugh, I could feel a chill go down my spine. Forget about it. For your own sake. This number is dangerous. It's better that you don't know what that was. Oh, you guys. Oh. Hanako's son! Why are you here? The countryside, no place for a girl like me. I was taking a walk when I suddenly got a phone call. <laughs> You're really into me, aren't you? A motorcycle date, huh? Well, if you want to take a ride that bad, I'll go with you. <laughs> Wait! Wow, okay. Fuck my motorcycle! That is some serious heavyweight you're dealing with there, buddy. Oh, what's with this scooter? It's broken. If you want to take me out, you've got to do better than that. 
The best girls don't go steady for nothing, you know. You need to make an effort. Wow. Am I cursed? Did I insult a gypsy or something? I yeah, at this point, yeah, I believe a curse. <laughs> Easy for you to say. I don't even have a way to get home now. Senpai, you fought well. I was totally moved by all that. <laughs> Hop on behind me. I'll get you back home safe. Whoa! Up close and personal! I get it now. So this is what your plan was about. Oh, you don't get anything! And you're freaking me out! And dude, it's against the law to have two people on a bike! It's okay, just put an end to this suffering already. So I'll just go off to the station instead of go home with Kanji. Dude, we'll come to Okinawa okay, on your own. Oh, now. You have enough experience with your scooter. Hi. <sighs> After seeing a thing like that, uh, maybe, maybe the nurse can give me some, uh, you can help me out a bit. Oh, hey, I'll go. On the ground, ground, I assume my determination is an ammo. I'm looking for him, the strong eye black. Might as well go look for that too. Oh, hey, Dachi. Hey, what's up, man? Oh. It's you. What are you doing out so late? I'm doing overtime. Sometimes it sucks to be a grown up. It was daytime. I. They wouldn't know if I was sucked up, though. Oh, too far, Dachi. Well, you should go home before it gets too late. I got work. But I'm here, though. I might as well see if, uh. Hospital. Not hospital. The doggo is around here. I am going to work at the hospital, though. Well, she is out here. I can spend some time here with her instead. Spend time with a close friend after, uh... I've seen all that nonsense goes down. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to hang out with Chie. You're working. <laughs> Yo, Kirkoon, funny what you need at this hour. I also I uh, finished my training, so I was about So I had a shot. And by shot I mean steak ball. Hey, shut the time kill, wanna talk? In time to shop in the district at night with those you have formed such links with, you can come in closer to them. You cannot press the next rank, so time is limited. Don't you? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hmm. Hey, how much rain we get in this time of year. So it's hard coming down right in the middle of my training. Guess the other day the sky suddenly lit up and there was this ungodly rumbling. Eh, I don't want to think about it. It's all party training. Uh, that's part of my training? Then I guess I can't avoid it. Wait, no way! I'd be frightened of Chris if I get struck! Yuka's not scared of lightning at all. I saw the day there was flashes in the sky, but Yuka just started laughing. Okay, Jay, feel like she has grown stronger. Could come stronger t soon. Hmm? Well, how long have we been talking? I got so caught up in the conversation. Oh yeah, how much you have this? From me to you. Dr. Sop Neo. Yeah. That's my normal recommendation lately. You should try it. Well, we're gonna get going. Good night. Night. Oh. Good morning, Kirk Cam. School camp starts tomorrow. 
We'd be in the same group, but who should be uh, what should be cooking for dinner? Hey, why don't we get everyone to go buy ingredients after school? Yeah, we should. Okay. Sure, let Chia and Yosuke come down then. I came with the others to buy ingredients for the cookout tomorrow. What are you putting for me again? Carrots, potatoes, onions, mushrooms, green peppers, and radishes? Are radishes the same as turnips? Interesting. Curry's fine, right? It's practically our national food. We were going back and forth between ramen and curry, but I thought ramen might not be enough for you guys. Curry is fine with me? I wonder what kind of ingredients Yosuke likes. I get the feeling he's real picky. He's on another floor, isn't he? Do you want me to go ask? Nah, no need. Plus, he said he needed to get ready for something. Hmm. Hey, Chie, you use potato starch for curry, right? Of course you do. Otherwise, the sauce wouldn't thicken. Then we need potato starch and some flour, too. There's different kinds of flour. Which one should we get? All purpose? Whole wheat? Oh, dear. They. <laughs> oh dear, this is, is this their first time into uh, the adventures of cooking? Oh dear. Not like my cooking adventures so far in this game has been successful either. Hmm. Whole wheat sounds healthy. Mm, I would go with all purpose if it was me, but. Let's get that one. And here they are chili peppers. It's not curry if it isn't spicy. Oh well, let's just get everything that seems right. How about some kimchi too? Ooh, and some ground pepper. Oh boy. There's two kinds though, black and white. Whoa, way to go, Yukiko. The Amagi family sh <sighs> Oh yeah, we'll need some special ingredients too to spice things up. I remember seeing something on TV about that. I think it was, um, chocolate, uh, coffee, yogurt. <gasps> How about mint chocolate? Ooh, I love that stuff. I don't like coffee that much, though. Oh, I can drink mocha, so let's get that. What about some seafood? That should make the sauce taste better. Uh. Oh, dear. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> oh, oh dear. You're back. Hi, right, how how's your day going, dude, Gamer? Yeah, my expression expressions. Do I even go in the fridge? Frozen banana. Yeah. Uh, let me look for Doggo. I like Doggo. But not the Doggo I'm looking for. Doggo here in the spring. Nope. Alright, so I'll go back to the shopping district then. Uh, what's the great? Come on, man. Diligence. Uh, I really don't need more diligence in the moment. What I really need is expression. Which means I should be going to band. 
darn damn day, but whatever. Let's go work at the hospital. Hospitals at night, so spooky. Hmm? My. Oh, forgive me. Huh. <laughs> well done. You could just track off and do a half an ass job, but you really do your work. Oh, uh, you cute little butt off, don't you? So, why are you working at this job like this? Honestly, for money. I'm gonna be honest. Mm hmm. Hmm. Are you a starting student? Then you should re really be caught up in here with a naughty lady like me. But still, a young child shouldn't be wasting their time wiping windows at the hospital. I'm sure there are girls who would cry if they saw you doing uh, menial chores like this. Finger wish. Say, do you have a girlfriend? Not right now, I do not. Oh, that's no fun. The fact that they're... The fact they're taken is what makes flirting with men so interesting. Oh. High schoolers are so young. They're only ten years younger, but they seem so far away. It's like they're glittering. I feel this... What do you call it? Envy? Maybe that's why. I just want to see them get screwed over by life. <laughs> that was a joke, of course. Half of it was, anyways. Do you see what I'm getting at? I think so? <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Keep your eyes closed. Oh, now what's this? I have to go now. I got a lot of work tying up. But I could go help myself. Because you're so cute. I'll see you again. Sorry to buzz you while you're on the job. Keep the guy clever, okay? Okay. Off to camping. Ugh, picking up all that trash was murder on my back. I can't believe someone threw away an entire bike. Damn it, litterers should have to deal with their own garbage. Oh, if they did, we wouldn't be doing this now, would we? And the world would be a lot better off. Anyways, time for dinner. Man, I'm starving. Dude, the girls cook just for us. Not that I expect much out of Chie, but Yukiko's got the full tradition of the Amagi Inn behind her food. You know it's going to be out of this world. <laughs> I'm going to be... I'm going to be honest, I, I feel... I'm gonna be honest, uh, you probably shouldn't eat it. Yeah. Oh, no way. I'm not falling for that. <laughs> I'm just 
want it all for yourself, huh? I can't wait to dig in. Your funeral. Should we taste this? Huh? Well, only if you do it first. Oh man, here it comes. Uh, sorry for the wait. Um, we put a lot of love into it. Well, really? That's kind of cliche, but still awesome. Okay then, chow time. It's a one-hit knockout. Wow. What the hell is this? I mean, what kind of... Curry's supposed to be, like, really spicy or kind of mild. This just stinks. And it's gritty, too. It's somehow both gritty and slimy, and it's got squishy parts in it. It's so freaking nasty, I can't even swallow it. Well, it just didn't mix too well. But it does offer a wide variety of textures. It's nauseating! Come on, it's not that bad. That's just your opinion. I'm telling you as a friend, don't do it. I wouldn't even joke about trying that slop. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I lack the courage to eat it. Oh, darn it. All right, fine. Uh, yeah, no, I, I'll, uh, okay, fine. Okay. Oh, we're sorry. Sorry. What are we gonna do? Our group's the only one without food. I mean, if it was even slightly edible, that'd be one thing. But I'm not taking another bite of this mystery food X. <laughs> Something smells good. Hanako. I don't have any choice. And besides, she owes me, considering what she did to my motorcycle. Hey, uh, Hanako. You wouldn't happen to have any extra curry left, huh? Come on, give us some, we're begging! <sighs> no way! <laughs> I'm on a diet right now, so this is all that I made. It has to last me. That's a diet all portion? Made? It's like a bucket full. Oh, I wonder if there's any way we can get something delivered here. But our cell phones don't get service up here. And dinner time's almost over. All right, back to your tents. Men's tents are this way, and the girls' tents are that way. Come on, people, look alive! Youngsters like yourselves should hurry up and get to bed after they eat. It's now time for us teachers to have some boo. I mean, uh, off to bed! Lights out! You guys are gonna pay for this. <laughs> Night. A little bit hungry, huh? Oh boy. Damn it. I'm so hungry. And how the hell did you end up here? My teach threatened to hold me back a year if I didn't show. And the first year's tent is all quiet, like someone died. Well, if you were in there with him, I'm not surprised. Is it just you two in this tent? 
The other guys called in sick. Smart move. Ah, uh, yep. <laughs> Just us. So it's okay if I hang out here? Stay as long as you want. We can honestly use the company. Hey, you're a stand-up guy, senpai. Don't worry, I won't make any trouble for you. They won't catch me unless we raise a ruckus. All right, all right, you can sleep over there. Dude, there's a huge rock under there. How am I supposed to sleep? Pipe down. Didn't you say you weren't going to make any noise? Yo, senpai, why don't you go just a little further back? Nope, there's a slope just past here. I'd roll down the hill in my sleep. If you don't like it here, go back to the first year tent. Hey, wasn't your teacher some guy called King Moron? Yep. That guy stopped me outside earlier and he pissed me off so bad I was about to lose it. He was going on and on about when I was in middle school. When he doesn't know shit about any of that. Not only that, he was bullshitting about how I'll be expelled immediately if I cause trouble. That ain't funny, man. Yeah, that guy set a speed record for jumping to conclusions. Check this out, right? I heard it from a guy in my class. He said that asshole was talking shit about the two girls who died. King Moron was talking about Ms. Yamano and Saki-senpai? It was like, it's no surprise that people who are unfaithful or run away from home meet a bad end. I don't know, maybe he was exaggerating. Everyone seems <laughs> to hate that son of a bitch Moraoka. That's really disrespectful to say after the those two really died. Really disrespectful. Not saying it's not wrong, being unfaithful usually ends in tragedy. And running away from them can be hard. I suppose, but I don't want to exactly say they make uh, bad ends, as in full blown murdered. Damn, I could just picture him saying that. He never shut up about me either when I moved here last year. Not that I remember anything he said. Even if it's only a little true, it still pisses me off. The dickhead's a damn teacher, for God's sake. Now, nah, don't waste your energy getting pissed at that clown. Yeah, you got a point. Wait a sec. What are you eating? Animal cracker? What the? But those are mine! Damn it! I was so pumped about finding the penguin today. Penguin? The secret animal cracker! You were eating them and you didn't know that? Are you serious? Well, you should have said something. Oh, well. This isn't going to fill me up. Let's just go to sleep. That's all you got to say for yourself after taking my snacks. I'm just going to go to bed. Can you have more space on your side? Man, I can't sleep over there. Or my back's going to break. Oh, okay. Uh, hey. Yeah? Why did you come to this tent? I already told you. Jeez, wrong with you. This is as good a time as any, so I want you to be honest with us. Uh, okay. Are you really, you know? Am I really what? What I mean is, um, are we going to be safe alone with you? What? Oh my gosh. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I already told you guys I'm not like that. Well, then why are you all hot and bothered about it? That's just more suspicious. Hell no! Oh we my this gosh. Already, damn it. Right now I'm. Well, how do I put it? Uh... Oh god, don't trail off like that. You're freaking me out. I'm trying to tell you that I have no problem being around girls now. Can you prove it? <laughs> prove it? Because if you can't, we're going to be stuck here all night, half scared to death. 
To hell with this. If that's what you really think of me, then I'm gonna go hit the girl's tent right now. This is a bad idea. Wait, well that's a little extreme. You don't have to go that far. They'll expel you if they find you. Don't tell me you forgot. King Moron's got his eye on you. Yeah, like that stuff a man like me. The dude's seriously going for it. Hey man, you gotta stop him. No, seriously, don't do this. This is a bad idea. <laughs> you think you gotta put up with this crap? I'll show you guys. Oh no. To hell with King Moron. No one's stopping Kanji Tatsumi, damn it. Uh, hey, wait. What? I declare myself not responsible for anything that happens. Yep. Now I get why we're the only three in here. I can't sleep. Oh, I'm hungry too. I should have eaten a little more of that curry. It might have knocked us unconscious. Sheesh. We can't sleep. We can't walk around. I wonder what Teddy's doing right now. Being alone all day is pretty rough when you think about it. You know, a while ago he... <sighs> that does it! Yukiko, we're out of here! Where'd we go, though? I don't think climbing down the mountain is a good idea. Do you think she'd stop snoring if I covered her nose and mouth? No, 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 no! Yukiko, no! Oh, I can't take it anymore! Hey, are you guys still up? What are you doing here? This is the guy's side. Let us in. Don't be ridiculous. If King Moron finds out, we'll all be expelled. Go back to your tent. We can't. Are there any rotten apples out and about? Any indecent students out there? All right, hurry up and get in. Oh, boy. So why are you two here? Well, it's Kanji-kun. He's out cold. I, I don't know what happened. He just came in and then, and then he, he fainted all of a sudden. That's all, right, Yukiko? Huh? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, boy. So there was no way we could sleep with him lying there. And, you know, if we woke him up, he might have made a fuss. That's why we left him there. What? That makes no sense. He busted into your tent, then suddenly fainted. Listen up! Being insolent and being indecent are very different things. It's him. He's right outside. Hey, turn the light off. On it. <sighs> mm. Are you two in there? Answer me! We're here. Huh? Ah, so you're in there. Is Hanamura already asleep? Yes, sir. Fast asleep, sir. Mm -hmm. So get cute, Hanamura. <laughs> Shut up and go back to sleep. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Ugh, you're gonna have one too many. I'm so sleepy. Okay. <sighs> there goes a couple years off my lifespan. No joke. We were nearly expelled. Hey, this is you guys' fault. What? Well, what else are we supposed to do? Anyways, we can't leave now. We'll sneak out before the others wake up tomorrow. Is that good enough for you? What are you so pissed off for? You better not try any funny stuff while we're asleep. Is that clear? Hey, we didn't say you could... Damn it. You owe us for this. 
Okay. Well, this is a this morning. Looks like we're the only ones here. What's wrong? Got a stomach ache? No, it's just. I thought I got pissed and ran out of the tent last night. It's so weird. Was it a dream? When I woke up, I was in Yosuke Senpai's tent. It, it was a dream. Must be a dream. <laughs> yeah. Mm, yes. Mm, we didn't totally drag you back there. Okay. All right then. <sighs> let's get swimming. Are you seriously taking a swim? I'll pass. I'm still all stiff. I hope you're listening up a bit. What are you looking at us for? If you guys want to swim, go right ahead. You know, you two still owe us. Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa! We're not going in there. I mean, we do owe you, but... Oh, yeah! We don't have swimsuits with us. Man, of all the luck. Yeah, it really is unfortunate. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. We put up with your dinner, we save you from King Moron, and you won't even have some fun with us in the river. No, it's really too bad. It'd be no problem if I had just had a swimsuit. <laughs> Ta-da! I've got you covered. Really? Okay. They're Juness brand originals from our brand new line of swimwear that just came in for the summer. Complete with a tagline too. Wow. Oh, it's the self switch. <laughs> I had a clerk friend of mine choose him for me. Pretty swanky, huh? Oh boy. Dude, that's just wrong. <laughs> yeah. Did you have those this whole time? Come on, let's all go swimming. What should we do, Yukiko? It'd be no problem if I just had a swimsuit. Oh. You know, we really were looking forward to dinner. Mm. I wonder what would have happened if we didn't help you guys last night. We get it already. Sheesh, you just never let things go. All right, that's more like it. Oh, boy. Those two go to get changed. Come on, let's get in. Whoa, man. Stop staring like that. Hey. You do look cute. <laughs> where, where did that come from? Man, this is going even better than I expected. Kind of makes up for having to eat that mystery food X last night. And come on, you guys got to admit I chose some good suits. Those girls might be childish on the inside, but I bet they're going to turn into some fine looking women before too long. They're right there, Yosuke. They're right there. Don't you think so? You may have a point, I will admit. You guys crossed the line. Definitely. Oh god. <laughs> it's freezing! You, you didn't have to push us in? No, we definitely crossed the line, I believe. We definitely crossed the line. You were going in the river anyway? They brought this on themselves. Sheesh. Aren't they the worst, Ponji Coon? Hey, you better not go quiet. Are you feeling okay? D don't tell me the injuries from yesterday are still... Uh... What? Wow, he has a nosebleed. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> that was close. What? 
fight for. I didn't do anything. Yeah. Hey, what's gotten into you? Huh? Do you hear something over there? <laughs> Oh. So that's why no one else was here. Good thing we noticed before we went in. Senpai. Don't say it. Ah. <sighs> oh, welcome home, big bro. Don't, 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 don't want, really want to talk about it. Let's just harvest some veggies. They look yummy. We've got veggies. Let's, let's create more wheat. This has gone way longer than expected. Come on, grow. Oh, sorry, it's a bad thing. I did miss a day. You guys deserve a longer episode. Next time on Persona 4, hopefully things will look better than being pushed into a river with a person puking upstream and eating mystery food X. Ah, oh, boy. See you then!